Hey folks, this is Dylan from Fish Talk Magazine here. We're out here trolling for cutlass fish and we're going to show you how to do it. So I'm reeling one in right now and we're about to get him in the boat. And that is a nice cutlass fish right there, but it looks like we've got some line. So we'll deal with that later, but we've got this cutlass fish here. I'm going to grab him and get him off the treble hook. And I'm going to take him. So what we're using here is a little Rapala rattle trap. Um, this actually might be an off-brand one. Um, but you can use any standard rattle trap. You can also throw paddle tails for these guys. And what we're doing is we're trolling just above idle speed. So you're going to toss your lines out. And basically what we're doing is we're going out in about 20 foot of water looking for the ospreys. The ospreys have been telling us where these fish have been hanging out and we're just doing slow circles throughout the area. And you know, every couple minutes when it's hot, you'll pick up a fish. When it's slower, it might be more than that. All right, folks. So when you're trolling for these cutlass fish, you don't need to use big heavy rods like you do to like you would use during trophy rockfish season. Right now I'm using a Shimano Altegra 2500. This is a medium rod and it's plenty big enough to handle these cutlass fish. You actually don't want to go too heavy. Um, you want to go light enough that you can enjoy the fight. So that's what we're using today, but any medium light to medium heavy rod is going to work. All right, so we just caught our fish and now we're going to reset our lines. So all you got to do is cast it out and we're trolling these pretty far behind the boat. So let them out a good distance. Flip the bale, set it down, and wait till you get a hit. All right, folks, so as you can see, we've been trolling around for a little bit and we got some beautiful cutlass fish. And these fish are actually great to eat. They're similar in taste to a flounder. Um, all you gotta do is fillet them down and you get a nice long strip of meat. They're really delicious. So if you guys get out and troll for these, uh, you definitely wanna take some home and eat them. So they're going on ice and we're gonna have some delicious meals with them later. Do that again. Wow. Wow. Don't miss another cool fish dog video, click below to subscribe.